Governor, the start of your bus tour, how are you feeling going into this final stretch? Good. It's about time. I mean, you run for a long time, and you, the end is, uh, end is near, and we're going to be going across the state of Wisconsin. It's exciting. You had Elizabeth Warren yesterday. Your opponent had Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin. A uh, lot of national eyes on this race. I've asked you this before in terms of the national implications, but by issue, just list them for me. What are the national implications of your race? Well, certainly uh, issues around abortion, that, that's a national issue. Voting rights is a national issue. But at the end of the day, um, you know, if things uh, go well, uh, that's great. But uh, I'll tell you the idea that somehow we're going to change our voting rights uh, here in Wisconsin, make it more difficult to vote. That's going to make a big difference in 2024, no matter who's running for uh, for for president or for Senate. Former President Obama is coming on Saturday. What do you hope to get from the former President Obama's visit? Well, he's he, he's always right on. I mean, we, we had him four years ago and he was outstanding. And People will be energized, and they understand what a great world leader he is, and uh, I, I expect that uh, we're going to get uh, more people out to vote. That's the bottom line. This, this race is close, and the more people that we get out to vote, the best, best chances we have to win. We were with your opponent yesterday, and one thing that we heard is the, back in 2018, you said that the idea of cutting the prison population in half was absolutely a worthy goal. My question for you is, is that still your goal now? He says anything more would be dangerous. Is that still your goal today? Well, certainly our goal is to make our criminal justice system fair and secure at the same time. So we actually this last uh, uh, four years, we've been focusing on the the what happens before people are incarcerated, you know, the different types of courts. So we have veteran courts now and we have uh, AOD courts so that people that have minor uh, instances of deal, dealing with, uh, with, the, with the system, they can get the help they need and maybe not be incarcerated. So we've been, we've been lowering actually the number of people incarcerated in the state but by having these separate courts all across the state, even in Republican uh, counties. And, and so I, we'll continue to focus on that. He says reducing the population is dangerous though. Are you walking away from that initial goal of cutting it in half? Well, no, I think eventually we should be, we should be looking to lower it as much as possible. And again, that has to do with beginning, uh, making sure that uh, we have options for people in the, in the beginning. But at the end of the day, we also have to provide the resources to our counties and our municipalities to, uh, uh, to deal with, uh, deal with the violence uh, that, that, that exists. And so, you know, we, we understand that. Uh, unfortunately, the Republicans haven't in the past because they keep cutting what, what what money should be going to the municipalities. On the issue of abortion, we've seen it in ads, we've seen the focus from your campaign, but right now in the state of Wisconsin, access to abortion is essentially banned with very little exceptions. What would be the difference if your opponent wins? Well, the, what will happen is what he said. Josh Call and I have a, a, a lawsuit in court. We think we're going to win that lawsuit, and that would return us to Roe v. Wade, Wade time. Uh, if, and he's already said that's that lawsuit will be pulled if he becomes uh, governor of the state of Wisconsin. So he's, he's fine with having people, uh, doctors thrown in jail and uh, women, uh, you know, not having the option of having a, an abortion and, uh, and, and no, no uh, exceptions for incest or rape. He's okay with the 1849 law that was uh, put in place well before women had a chance to actually vote. Last one for you. Do you feel like your race is tied to your lieutenant governor? Is the race with Johnson that he's facing, is that tied to the result we're seeing with you? Well, to some extent, but uh, the national issues are so much more, so different. I mean, in Wisconsin, we have some things that are really important, like in infrastructure and making sure our public schools are, are in a good position. But, uh, and of course, uh, on the federal side, there's a lot of different issues. But the fact is that uh, Mandela was my lieutenant governor, is lieutenant governor, and uh, he's done a great job there. I anticipate he's going to win. Thank you very much, Governor. I know you have to head in. Yep, I do. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.